Hello, good morning. Um, so yesterday we left off uh, with a bit of a head scratcher, uh, ran out of time, uh, just trying to centre um, a, uh, a single character in a square. Um, and as soon as I um, finished off the recording, I was like, hold on a minute. The box was too long. Um, so it was uh, a quick and easy fix. Uh, as you can see, it's working now. Um, what was wrong here? Um, if you look at the box there, we have, uh, we didn't have a line height. And as soon as you do that, uh, you have your long box, um, primarily based on the fact that um, we're now using a huge font. Um, and it also has, uh, depending on what you use with, you know, in this case, a, a paragraph tag, um, you're going to have margins and so on that are blown out because I'm using uh, EM as a margin indicator. Um, so I didn't need to do any flex because we've already got um, uh, text align center on this whole component, um, which you'll see working properly uh, in the future uh, when we get actual real stuff working on the um, the goals item. Um, so took out all the, the flex stuff. All I had to do was set to line height. Um, this did unfortunately mean that um, we had a slight offset still um, because it was down here and I, it's very hard to see, but that's not quite, not quite centered there. Um, it's, it's dropped a little bit. You can't quite see it, uh, obviously, but I did. <laughs> um, if you can't even see it there, there. no. Um, and that's because um, the actual uh, goal item has a, a border around it, uh, which is 1EM, um, which depending on whatever font is being used and how that's rendered by the browser and so on, is going to offset um, the container. So I had to put in this little extra container, which is inherited in the same font size and so on, which happens to be 16 pixels. Um, and then I just shift it by um, half an EM, so it's like a character has been centered. Um, and that's all we really need um, to make sure we have a centered icon in this case. Um, so the code is now a lot simpler. Um, there's no flex. Um, we basically just have a little div for that fix on the margin um, and a paragraph containing our icon as such, uh, which is just at the moment, just a plus. We might put something a little bit more um, usable <laughs> later on, but at the moment we're just like placeholder stuff here. We're just trying to get something working. Uh, we can go back and polish up in the future. Um, uh, and the P, the P tag has got a nice font size line height that matches. Um, 1 AM does the job there. And then just to make sure that everything is centered on uh, all sizes, all sides, uh, we just put a margin of auto. So um, everything's going to be uh, centered effectively. So um, now we're at the point where we have uh, a button which says it's clickable, but it doesn't actually do anything. Um, so we need to fix that up. We need to actually go somewhere and do something. So we've got at the moment on this uh, Svelte component, we are um, taking the on click and we're just forwarding it up. Uh, we're not handling it, we're just forwarding it. Um, so now we need to go um, and do something with it. Um, the goal summary does the same thing, um, does a non-click, and as you can see at the moment, 
the on click uh, uses handle click, which is a function, and all it does is use the sparse spelt spa router um, to push uh, to a new route. Um, which you can't see yet because we have no goals. So let's do something uh, with this. We could um, maybe simplify this because I'm not sure that we actually really need that. But um, do we really need to have a whole function just for push on that? Don't really, do we? could just do it in line on that, I think. Yeah. So let's, um, let's take this and whack it in here. Um, actually, we can just let's see if this works. Although we're not going to actually be able to test this, but until we get some data in there, which will hopefully be soon. And it's all to complete in that case, so it should do a push to the goal root with a goal ID. That's all we need. We don't need that function. Okay. So then we can do something similar here. So we need a new route. And um, we're going to do, have we got any routes yet? We haven't, no. Oh, it does. Yeah. So what have we got in that edit goal? I've got nothing at the moment. It's just a placeholder, just a quick scaffold of some form elements that we've not even looked at yet. I just wall up them in there. Um, it's in theory I'm gonna take a goal. But based on that, that's an edit. And really we want an add as well. Add's gonna be slightly different in that we want a starting measurement. Whereas edit goal, you're going to add in the details for the goal, which is things like uh, what you're trying to do, the value, um, and when you want this thing to happen or be, sorry, be finished or completed by the end date. So. <clears throat> Maybe what we need is to use this edit goal as a component as part of a page that also has an extra component in there for putting in the first measurement. Um, and then when we use the actual edit goal, once you actually have a goal, we just use this one component in a different type of page with buttons for save and so on. Okay. So we'll have a couple of different routes to make sure that we don't get mixed up there. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, let's basically do the same thing here. Then we're going to have on click, and we'll just do just do an arrow function to push. Let's think. Do we really want to have? 
have roots which actually have names in them. Mm. Be easy enough. Well, we can always change this later. Yeah. Okay, what we'll do is... It's a start. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. We always use the dash instead. Let's do that. Keep it consistent. Now I need okay, let's create a root. Uh, what have we got here? Don't need any of that. We'll just keep it simple. Yeah. What's well, basic stuff here? But we could be Yeah. What we do need is we do need to do something like like in goals where we use a logged in page. So we're gonna create a add goal root. And for the time being, I'll just do a logged in page. Oops. And we will have to put in, but let's just stick in an edit goal with nothing for the moment. Which might be a bit messy, but at least we've got something to go to for this little click test effectively. Logged in page is working. Okay, and now we have something we can stick here. should find out how to expand those automatically. Okay, what we've got here. Okay, so that's us told the router. Go. Pass that should work. That's fine. Okay. Right. So in the add goal, all we're doing is uh, edit goal. That will probably have nothing. It will probably be a bit of a mess because there's no styling, nothing going on there. Um, we have no idea what's going to happen when we show that. 
Um, we don't even know if that's actually fully valid because it is just a quick dump, brain dump. But we'll see that in a second. Um, in the The goals, great goal, on clear, blah, 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 do the thing. All right, let's see what we've got. So it's just deploying. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Good stuff. Not sure why we've got nothing else there. But it's a start. Okay. Why is that not showing anything? What did I do? Come back to that in a minute. So then our goals now that's sorted we have a button that works pushes to the right route we set up the route um we have an add goal which isn't passing anything in so that's probably an issue there um, for the edit goal we're gonna have to add some other components there in a bit our goal summary has now been fixed up it's been renamed to give us a, a yeah so we're all good okay that's fine okay so we need to commit some of these things And uh, we'll just take out some of these things. What we don't want just yet is the edit goal. We can we can commit the add goal for the moment. It's not doing anything. In fact, we should probably actually add that as well. And for that time. There's no harm in adding it. It's not as if uh, anything's going to fail because of it. <clears throat> um, so we now have a like, show add. do save it push it okay now we just need to move on to doing the actual add goal so that once we actually click through we get something working here Do I have time for that? I can get started. Can I? 
probably best not actually. I'm probably not going to get that done in the time I've got allow available. So I'll uh, I'll stop there. Um, so we fixed up the button. We've got it pushing. We've got it um, going through to a root where we will be um, setting up a add goal page. Um, that'll do. Right. Um, until next time. Take care.